Marksman here once again and welcome to my video of Aces Wild. This game is a manic brawling action platforming kind of thing. I, I really honestly don't know how to describe it, but I wanted to show you guys. It's $10 on the developer's website. I don't know if it's going to be on Steam or anything. There's three current playable characters and I've tried to, but we're just going to go with the main character because, you know, he's the main character. So, alright. So the last time I tried recording this, actually the last two times I tried recording this, uh, I couldn't attack for some reason. And first of all, you should know that this game is really, really smooth. It plays so well and it just feels natural to fight these enemies and dodge attacks. Like, you can start dodging with attacking and comboing with the best of them. It, 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 that really doesn't take long to get acclimated to it. Uh, you can see, you get that nice little glittery kind of, I don't even know, it's just like a glitter particle effect, like literally, when you do a, <laughs> a good dodge for some reason. I, I dig it. It feels good, man, dot JPEG. Anyway, this game, the premise of it, after all, is to kill these ninjas and to beat the balls out of whatever enemies might face you. And it starts off kind of really, I, I, I have no idea. You fought, like, you fight dogs, and then you fight, like, giant dudes with, like, hammers, and then you fight, like, I honestly have no idea how to begin to describe, like, the types of enemies you'll be fighting, because it's just really off-the-wall insanity, the insanity. Uh, but the point of this game, really, is just to, I don't know, be good, be combo and be like a friggin' ninja man. I, I've only tried two of the three characters, and both of them play very similarly. This game is a meant for four buttons because I think he's gonna implement Xbox control. You see that amazing combo? I like ricocheted him off the wall and then you friggin' fell into my fist of fury. Anyway, <laughs> when this is not a. The, wait, fist of fury? Is that a movie? I feel like that's probably a movie. I don't, I don't know culture. Boom! Yeah, there's a, a feature called Panic. And basically what it does is it, well, first of all, let me explain everything. You have your basic regular attacks, your quick attacks, and then they use your panic meter, but it's your heavy attack. It's like your, it's called a slam. You punch them and they like fly up against walls and stuff. That's good. It's really good if you want to stagger an enemy or you want to move enemies away. You have your jump, of course, and you can jump as many times as you want, I think. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure. Double triple quadruple yeah you can just keep jumping but you don't always need to because you also have a dash so you can just dash jump dash jump dash jump dash and basically you can fly and I'm not levying that as a criticism against the game it's actually kind of like really cool uh, because it gives you this freedom of movement that a lot of like beat-em-ups don't give you and that creates like a lateral as well as horizontal kind of fighting style as opposed to like just one or the other and that's really cool, it, it get what the freak, oh he's standing on the lamppost, I was like, how? How is he doing this? This genie dog. Yeah, as you can see, the first mini boss kind of is a dog, and that is confusing as balls. But it's really fun, the fighting feels good, and um, every enemy is capable of being knocked back. So it's not like uh, the boss isn't going to be able to be knocked back or whatever. Because they have like a uh, some enemies, like tougher enemies, and like this mini boss here, and like later on bosses have like this blue meter over their health. And basically, if you try and hit them while they have the blue meter, they won't get knocked back, and they take less damage. So it's like their armor. It's like boss armor. I, I don't know. But then you break it, and then you can start getting some real combos in on them. It feels good. Even large enemies, you can start smacking around the place. And the combat feels so smooth. I I can't really criticize it at all because I haven't I it just feels good it feels tactile it ta tacti tacital I don't know it feels it just feels smooth it feels powerful it feels like you're actually doing something to the enemies instead of kind of like pushing air you know I don't know I don't know pushing air is that a thing I don't know. either way all I know is that I like it really and killing some ninjas dodging some kunai it's just, it's a, it's a liberating experience. And this game gets very difficult. You don't believe me now, or you might not believe me now. You might be like, dang, I don't have any idea what's going on. But I kind of do. I played through this, this this same mission, I think this would be my third time playing through it. And the first time I played as this character, second time I played as the guy with the sword. Uh, I think he's like called like Gene uh, Drift. If that's right, I get an award. But either way, 
They're both really good, really fun characters, and they have different enough fighting styles that I feel like I'm not optimally playing, because I, I feel like I'm missing out on like some combos or something. Because, I mean, I did some cool moves that I was like, okay, I have no idea how I did that, but that was awesome. And, uh, oh, here's my second mini-boss. Then No, this is not the boss. Oh, contraire, mon frere. If I ever speak French again. Is that French? Either way, if I ever speak French again, slap me in the penis. Uh... And then tell me you love me. Oh god! Okay, this guy. He, I. I. Ugh, that was bad. It feels real. See, you see that like beautiful shattering effect. Everything has, is very clearly laid out for you. Like you know when you're doing damage. You know when you've broken their guard. You know when you dodge something. It, everything has a very very nice, strong feeling effect to it. Because if you didn't have that, this game would feel so much more bland. Honestly. But it's really, really well made, and I've only had a problem when I tried recording with Fraps, so I'm trying to record with OBS, and I apologize for the weird, like, kind of thrown together intro almost, because it's, uh, I can't, for some reason, like, edit MP4 videos, which is really weird in Camtasia. I don't know why, like, you can, you can out, like, you can put them out in MP4, but you can't have them, like, you can't edit them in mp4. It's, it's really hard to explain, but you can process it and uh, render it in it. Like, to, the end result can be mp4, but I guess you, you can't, like, actually use it in the thing, which is just, I, I can't even, I don't even know how to begin to express hatred for that. But either way, the, this is gonna have to work for now, my, my little intro. And if, for some videos, I'll try and uh, record with Fraps, but Fraps is really heavy on the processor, so much so that it was running at like 25 frames a second when I was playing it, and now you can see that this is like running really smoothly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess I, I really don't know. The, the programs can be fickle, man. I, either way, I feel like Fraps needs an update. Anyway, that's uh, me complaining segment. Uh, I really should start dodging at some point. And also, yeah, that nice little ace power thing where I can just push everyone back and they're like, ow. And uh, it recovers your health, so that's a really helpful thing. Uh, and your panic meter builds up when you hit them with basic attacks, and I'm pretty sure when you successfully dodge out of the way of something. So you're about to see another another mini boss. You see that beautiful dodge right there? It's beautiful. Ow, that one wasn't. But I love fighting these bosses because you actually feel like it's like it's not so much so a beat 'em up as it is a fast-paced, frantic fighter, kind of, except plus a beat-em-up? I, I really, it's hard to explain because it is a beat-em-up at heart, that is true, but it doesn't feel like any other beat-em-up I've ever played. It feels like you get that visceral, like, anime-esque kind of combat that is just, like way over the top but way awesome, and it's hard to explain, but it's just like a ton of fun to, like, play. I really cannot express how good the combat feels and how, like, how powerful everything feels in oh god when it's put into play, and how how awesome you feel when you uh, successfully do a sweet combo or something. Oh god! So I'm gonna try and combo this dude into oblivion. You saw me punch that dude, and then right afterward it spawns another one, which is absolute insanity. Can I use another? Oh god! I have to be at full meter to do another panic. I need my health, man. Let me at him. Let me at him. Let me at him. I got really far the first few times I played, and I got to the uh, the first boss without dying, and then I died like six times on the first boss, because the freaking bosses are really difficult. Uh, mini bosses are not, like this one this is just me being bad, because I'm trying to talk over video games, and if you've never done that before, and tried to actually make coherent thoughts, I dare you, man, I dare you to try it. It's not as easy as it seems. Uh, it's just, it's very, it's, especially if you, if you want, like, consistent commentary like some people they're like oh dude it's not that difficult because when something crazy goes down you kind of like block it out for just a second you gotta just keep talking or you play one thing or another lacks like either your commentary or your gameplay and i pick gameplay because i don't want to be the best there ever was or uh, be the best that no one ever was to catch them is not my real cause but to train them maybe i guess if you think about it uh either way as I was saying, one thing's gotta give, and uh, people usually pick commentary, 
And if they're like talking to their friends, they're like, sorry man, I was focused. And like, wow, thanks for ignoring me, you dick. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. And here comes the first boss. Uh, I, don't, I seriously doubt that I'll be able to beat him on my first try, but I'll try. Especially seeing as how I'm like really low on health already. And I'm just going to use my panic right away, recover some health, and then dodge out of the freaking way. Try and break through his shield, and good, just keep hitting him. I really, oh god, wow, that was a great dodge, not gonna lie. Ooh, I felt like I was way off on that timing. And right now, you can see that I'm just comboing him into oblivion, but he does get more difficult as time goes on, which is probably not that hard to believe, I guess. But, oh god, did he just urinate? I felt like I shouldn't be asking that question. Not on camera. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That felt good. Ooh, okay, yep, yeah, I'm a little bit after right now. Not gonna lie. Uh, I wish I could do something about that, but I can't. And I'm getting my b-hole rocked. Yeah, that's, that'll do it. But what's cool about this game is it's more of a score attacky game, but you will... you Well, if you're as bad as I am, you'll get hung up on the bosses sometimes and you'll have to keep refighting them and try again and again and again uh but it's mostly about score attack so dying isn't a huge deal and it is co-op by the way if you haven't noticed that little join up thing in the top right uh not online obviously because net coding is a p in the d for a lot of developers especially ones where it's not wholly necessary something that i believe it would be super necessary like uh i don't know What's a game that I think would be necessary? Spelunky would be really cool, but it's not necessary. Like, you, you know what I'm saying, kind of, right? I, I don't freaking know. But hopefully you know what I'm saying. Um. Oh, God, that was so bad. I thought I could have avoided that. Stop it. I hate you, doggy. Ah! Ow. Okay, that's not good. Okay, I managed to get out of there. Now I just need to build up my panic meter. Okay, and go. Oh ho ho! Dodge out of the way of that one! Dodged a bullet on. Uh, oh god, saved by the bell! Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to throw out some names of shows that we never want to talk about ever again. Actually, I never watched it, so I don't know if it's any good, actually, so I probably shouldn't speak. Should never speak ever again, actually. Uh, ever? So I'll just shut up now. I'm just kidding! Why would I shut up? Ever. That's silly. I mean, I, I'm annoying, I know. Oh god! Okay, you doggy man. I hate you! Okay, he does get more difficult, and I have beaten him before. Don't take that out of context, I have not. You, shut up, you know what I'm saying. Um, okay. This dog is not gonna let up, man! Uh, and I won't either! Okay. Okay, that was painful, but it's whatever, shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, I gotta make sure I'm watching one or the other man, because, oh, God. Oh, my God. How many times does this thing ricochet? Hey, dog man, suck it. Suck it. Okay, you guys, you just all need to chill the freak out. There's a lot of them, and they're all angry at me. For various reasons, boom! Yes! More health! I can do it! I can do it! I can beat him! Don't shh! Don't take it out of context, please! Okay, not right now! Oh, suck it, dog! Good! Again, not out of context! Who? Okay, just maintain calmness and collectiveness! Oh, that freeze frame feels so good! Oh, oh, yeah! Anyway. So that was the first level of Ace's Wild, and as you can see, it truly is a wild time. And they expect you to die, man, they're not crazy. There is higher difficulties and lower difficulties. See, I got an A+, I only failed once, I got plenty. I actually don't know if Sassy is like the lowest difficulty, because I feel like it probably would be. It might not be, but I either way, this game is a great deal of fun. I'm enjoying it a lot, and I probably might just play it a lot more on my channel and play it some more later on by myself, maybe. I don't know, I might like stream it or something. Anyway, the point of all this is go check it out on the developer's website. Uh, I will try and put a link in the description if I can remember. Anyway, yeah, that is Ace's Wild. 
and I am Marksman. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Stay frosty.